Awareness events not only happen at the state level, but locally too, including a Narcan training session in Eastern Idaho Public Health. KPVI News That Works For You journalist Kylie Gibson joins us now live from the newsroom with more on that training. Kylie. Thanks, Matt. Today is about educating communities not only of the problem of drug overdose, but also how we can help as citizens. Each year on August 31st is International Overdose Awareness Day. The goal is to create an understanding about overdoses, reduce the stigma around drug-related deaths, and create change. Idaho drug overdose mortality data from 2021 shows 353 Idahoans died from a drug overdose. 152 of these drug overdose deaths involved fentanyl, which is a really potent synthetic opioid. 241 of them were reported with opioids of those, of those 353 drug overdose deaths. On Wednesday, Eastern Idaho Public Health held a drug overdose and prevention training specifically aimed at educating the public about the opioid reversal drug called naloxone or Narcan. Naloxone is just a medicine. It temporarily reverses an opioid overdose. So say somebody's experiencing an overdose situation, you can administer naloxone, whether intramuscularly or intranasally, to help reverse that overdose. After administering naloxone, calling EMS is critical in saving someone's life due to the fact that opioids can still stick to receptors in the brain, and one dose of naloxone doesn't always detach those receptors. So where can you get naloxone locally? There's lots of places you can get it. So you can go to your provider or your pharmacist. They can write you a script and you can get naloxone there. Just be mindful that you'd have to pay whatever your insurance is. Some insurances do cover it. Soldiers of Hope in Idaho Falls provides it for free. Center for Hope on 530 East Anderson Street provides it for free. And then individuals who want to get it mailed directly to them can contact Idaho Harm Reduction Project. You can call or text them and they'll mail it directly to your home. For more information on opioids or naloxone, you can visit eiph.idaho.gov. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Kylie Gibson. Back to you guys in the studio. Okay, thank you very much, Kylie.